Sorry, I meant Canada. Canada should have destroyed them. Canada should have beat Belgium. They should. But then, yes. they, they, let's be honest, Canada had them by the throat. They missed a pen. And they didn't. They did everything. Yes. They did everything the wrong. Like, it's that. It's that like. They did everything but finish. But finish. That game should have been 4 0. And by the way, if Canada. Mm-hmm. Be- think about this. If Canada beat them 4 0, then Morocco beat them 2 0, which Morocco deservedly won. Yes. Boom. It's game over. You're walking into that game you, thinking. Yeah, Belgium you, are you out. Got this. Yeah. yeah, Belgium would have been out by now. Mm-hmm. It's just because of yeah. what happened with Canada. You look at Belgium, you're like, oh, this group is open now. But like, this this group should have been closed a while ago. It should have been Canada mm-hmm. and Morocco are now genuinely fighting to see who's going out. Who's because the last game is Canada Morocco, right? Yes. Yeah. So that's now more interesting because Morocco played Croatia and they drew, didn't they? Nil nil. Yeah, they drew Croatia and then they beat Belgium. Yeah, so even if Canada drew this game, they they would have stayed alive. They would have stayed alive because yeah, if they, they beat Morocco, yeah. they go through. Now Canada out yeah. because they've lost two games. Yes, and the only thing that they can mm-hmm. do in the final game is say, "Let's at least make sure that we Play have." For pride. Yeah, we're playing for pride now. A win. Let's go for a win. Yes, and we can actually impact how um, Morocco goes. So now for Morocco, this is yes. a draw. They're like, "Hey, would." Yeah. If so, if Morocco, uh, sorry, if Morocco beats Canada, Morocco go through as the top team in the. Because ha- sorry, yeah, Morocco has to beat Canada. Yes. Because if they beat Canada, they go as top, correct? Yes. They should. They do. Yeah, because they they have the goal difference. Yeah, yeah. they'd have the goal difference. No, 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 no. Croatia beat no. you guys. Croatia has a goal Croatia difference the goal because difference. the three. No, the but three. Croatia's yeah. last game is against Belgium. Belgium. Which I think Belgium's Belgium, playing for their lives. Exactly. So Belgium might beat... Belgium mm. might just beat Croatia, meaning they get four points. Mm-hmm. And Morocco has to beat Canada. Canada. And I, I think if you're Morocco, you're like, I take my chances. Even though Canada mm. is a very dangerous team. But dude, think about yes. it. All the positives that I give Canada, Morocco negates. You think you have pace? Morocco has pace. Who has pace. Like Morocco has pace. That right wing no, yeah, is and so it, dangerous. Oof. Ziyech and fucking Hakimi. Whoo, that Ooh. is a bad wing. <laughs> I wanted that. I, that that game. That game. I was excited for him. Like the pace. Give me. Give me the right side because it's going to be Ziyech no, and Hakimi. This is the best part. And then you, Davies so, is going to be on that side. This too. is the most interesting thing about how good Morocco. Are. Morocco are probably. And this is we need to give Morocco their flowers uh-huh. Morocco had the best oddly enough the most balanced team in Africa and we just ignored them because on the right wing you have Ziyech and Hakimi Hakimi is the best right back in the world in the world, game over period. and then you have Ziyech who yes he hasn't played well for Chelsea but is one of the best wingers in the league whether or not you want to believe it or not mm. he really is the problem he's going through right now is a different a different coach has come in and he's not playing anymore and learning a new exactly system. so yeah. it's not working out but you have Ziyech on one wing sorry Ziyech and Hakimi meaning because Hakimi is actually more of like a marauding right back Ziyech mm. comes into a striker position right like a supporting striker which then kicks yes. Bufal from striker to left wing. And all of a sudden, mm. you now have three elite attackers always pushing you. And then if you focus yes. too much on them, you forget how many good players Morocco has in every other position. So every time you're mm. facing them... Now, obviously, I, oh, let's be honest. Morocco, they've done well. But this group was actually the easiest group. Now, hindsight being 2020, this was the easiest group. Belgium are trash, Croatia are old, Canada are all over the place, right? So if you beat Belgium, yeah, which they did, you draw against Croatia, which you did, and then you're 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 looking at Canada going, I'll have you. <laughs> 
hey, mm. if this might you guys might beat us, but we will make sure this is a long day for you guys. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah, because like, well. that's the thing. This matchup, yeah, because like this group, and I had said this on a full on a video okay. on a on a one of the streams I was on. It's the Canada Croatia matchup comes down mm-hmm. to Canada speed up Croatia. Yes, because Croatia is going to play at a pace. Yeah. and can they with their pace get them to play up and down? If you can do that, that suits you better. If this turns into a we're going to pass through, nah, that's Modric, man. Modric is different. So no, I, that's what I it came actually down disagree. To. And, I disagree yeah. with your assessment. I think w- the way you play against teams like Croatia isn't rushing them. It's ensuring they don't play their game. Because if you rush them, hmm. Modric is, even at his old age, deceptively quick. And then hmm. you have Perisic, who also is deceptively quick. So it's not a question yeah. of you're bombing down, you know? <laughs> it's not mm-hmm. you're bombing down like like a like a Ghana or something, just powering through on Senegal, just speed, speed, speed. These yeah. guys choose when to run. That's their mm-hmm. biggest thing, is that they're very clever at understanding when to push, when not to push. That's the experience that Croatia has. Yes. So what Canada needed to do against them was negate their midfield. Because if you say you put in a midfielder and his only role, and this is where I agree with you, the two-man midfield that Canada played with was so stupid. They should have had a midfielder whose only job, only job is to man-mark the heck out of Modric. And then the other guy mm. is to man-mark Kovacic or something. And then you go, that's it. Those are, that's your whole job. The whole game. Nothing else. Make sure whenever he's going out to, to like have a drink, you're with him. The whole time. Because uh-huh. if you tire Mod, if you make Modric's... Like you need Modric to run more often than he does. And when that happens, once you get uh-huh. him tired, the whole team setup just goes down a, a level. That's how you play... That's how Morocco played Belgium. Shut down De Bruyne and uh-huh. all of a sudden you have... The, the team looks mortal. You're like, oh, wait. Yes. So if you don't... If we don't have De Bruyne... And you agree, you're like, listen. One or two balls will go through. So your other defenders need to, like, you know, cover for us. You guys mm-hmm. just went with the wrong game plan. That's that's just the honest truth. No, I agreed. Agreed. It was the wrong... Just It's one of the few times that this manager has not come in with the right strategy and furthermore cementing it he didn't adjust yeah he didn't adjust right that's true the, their best midfielder went out at halftime mm-hmm. and it was just like you needed even if you had like it was like put in like a cdm who's just gonna at least give you some stability there mm-hmm. but they didn't and it doesn't happen often mm-hmm. but it happened unfortunately at the worst possible time so what are you really gonna do Right in this game, it played to them. There was no resistance in the midfield. Like to say it was a hot knife going through butter yeah. is an insult to hot but, knives. But you know what? Like, it wasn't even that. Hard. But do you know something? If you guys had that level of naivety right now, I think at the knockout mm-hmm. stages, you guys would have had a rude awakening because you would have met Probably. a decent team, and that team would mm-hmm. destroy you. You don't want to see that. You don't want to see a team that you know. Everyone in Canada gets excited because you're like, oh my days, we might have a golden generation here. And then, boom, Mm -hmm. (laughs) 5-0. You don't want that to happen. Like, you would rather get beat 4-0 group stages. Because, again, you're right. There was naivety from the coach's perspective, but also now from the players. They now understand 